Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Play Skyrim. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and today it's more Skyrim. When we last left off, me, Feindel, uh, and newfound friend Orthorn, if we can show him over here. Orthorn, hey buddy, how's it going? Keep your hands to yourself. Son, don't, don't even start with me. I will mess you up so fast. I could level up and we could go right now. Uh, me and Feindel came down here to save the book that Orthorn stole. We did not come to save Orthorn. He's helping us out because we have him at bow point. Anyway, we have to continue on because we're trying to find someone known as the Caller. Apparently she has the book. Kill her, get the book. And, I don't know, see what happens to Orthorn. Because even I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with him yet. I'm detected, but presumably it is from Orthorn. That's really stupid. If the guy's following us, even if he's not technically on our team at all, like all the time, it shouldn't give us that little thing because then it's messing me up. All right, is there someone up here? Probably. Uh, God, come on, come on. Who's up here? Moving pretty quick. Looks like we got two rooms. No, there's a door. All right, let's start with the open door. Dude, did you hear that? I don't know if you guys hear that. Holy fart! It's a freaking flame ash! Why, why was that... I mean, I'm lucky I heard it. Vandal's on fire. But why was that in the freaking... Behind the door? Also, Orthorn is not helpful at all. Alright, excuse me. Oh, you saved me. Thank you so much. Okay, yes, we've had this conversation. I'm gonna go ahead and open these doors. Um, in fact, there was actually a lot of doors that I skipped over, and I'm going to have to go back and check them at some point. I don't know when. God, who's in here? Not a soul. What is that thing? Shrine of Julianos. All my diseases are cured. Praise Julianos! Who wants some? Apparently no one. Kinda sounded like a trap, but I think you were just stepping on a plate. Frost Miriam, my favorite, and also what is that thing? Is that is that garlic? A wooden oh it's wooden ladle and a go oh okay. <laughs> it was a very confusing image. Uh another chest. Also, um someone had told me in the comments of last episode that it is possible to set off traps using your voice. You can actually shout at the traps and they'll go off. I did not know this. And I am uh, very much looking forward to trying it. Lock picking increased. I also have a, um, a level up I can use if I absolutely need to. Leather strips. Okay, there's nothing else interesting in here. Let's keep moving, shall we? Be careful. Be careful. There's a plate I don't own. I wonder if this guy ever did get involved with the gang here. Like, if he was buddy-buddy with them for a while, and then they were like, you know what, we're going to use you as an experiment, or just like from the get-go, he was. it was always planned for him to be an experiment. Because that would definitely change how he felt about maybe some of the things here. Be like, oh, but that's my plate that I ate on every night. I don't know. Just trying to throw some, some stuff out here to make it a little deeper. <laughs> Sucks for you. Was that it? I, I mean, I figured there had to be someone in this room. It just sucks that there was one person and I shot him right in the chest and that was it. Uh, I did get the keep key if I didn't already have one. Normally, <laughs> normally you leave uh, a place like this with several. Take your staff. Uh, that's nothing I can read. Ruined book. Why do people keep ruined books around? I mean, if they're truly ruined, wouldn't it make sense to, like, get rid of them? That's just me. I'm just trying to clean the place up. Is that a satchel? Yeah, a satchel. Sometimes the satchels have really good stuff. Sometimes they suck. Ugh. I think there was one time we had a, uh, a diamond in a, in a satchel. So that was definitely an example of why you should check satchels. Okay, so we've... So we checked all of this. It's I guess it's time to go up the stairs. And there was a bunch of um, doors that we missed way back. But that's okay. Looks like the person we need to kill is like right here. Oh, snap. Or possibly through this door. Did my game freeze? No, it just... Apparently it felt the need to autosave. And autosaving kills the, the, the 360. Elixir of Resist Fire, Scroll of Ice Spike, some stuff that's not worth much money, but I'm going to take anyway. Uh, what's that? Scroll of Ice Spike. I don't know why I continue to take these. They're really not worth that much. Extreme Healing and Ultimate Healing. Now that's more like it. And a tankard. Oh, boy. All right. 
Wait, is this going to take me to a... No, it's not going to take me to a new map, right? Because it doesn't have the go-to new map symbol on it. God, here we go. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. Piss. How nice to meet you. What's up, girl? Um, I'm just here for the books from the college. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Um... Perhaps we can come to an arrangement. An arrangement? After you've destroyed so much? Fine. Leave me the elf. You may go with your books. He gets the books. I get you. It's very simple. Wow. But why? This little adventure of yours has cost me a number of test subjects. I need more, and you do nicely. Wow. You wouldn't do that, would you? You wouldn't leave me here with her. Nope. Did that trigger something? Triggered something. Ugh. No, I have a bigger heart than that. But now we gotta deal with these things, and you're gonna help. I'm not gonna risk shooting Fandel. Wait, is that it? I think it's just a... Wait, did, already, did we already do it? Was that it? Also, that was freaking easy. She was like, I trust you enough to not look at you while we speak. I will look at Orthorn, who you will leave with me, and I... Bleh! And I shot her right in the neck. You owe me. I've got to get out of here. Okay. I don't know if you get this, but we're cool, dog. She's dead. Uh, I got the ritual chamber key and bleh. there should be like some kind of dialogue about us being cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Doesn't give me anything. All right, take one stolen book. Apparently, you're on my side, which is cool. Uh, another stolen book. Neat. And uh, finally, we've got this. Got it. I have the well, books. Everything worked out nicely, didn't it? I got what I came for. Yes, you certainly do. You'll be going back to the college then. I, uh, I think perhaps I'll wait a bit before venturing there myself. Uh huh. Let this whole thing blow over, you know. Give certain parties a chance to forget what I may have done. Still, you've got me out of that cage, and I won't forget it. Thank you again. And good luck to you. You know what? As much as I want to kill him... Well, everything worked out... <laughs> he turned into a ghost! Oh Christ, it's... Uh... Okay, yeah, I, I don't... You know what? I think I'm actually going to let him go. Trust me. Everything in me wanted to just shoot him in the back of the neck. And if I walk out there and he's still there, I might still shoot him in the back of the neck. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this chest. That battle, if you can call it that, was pretty fun because I, I used my wits. I was like, yo, let's come to an agreement. Now you ponder this while I walk over here. Shoot. See, that's how I, that's how I want to handle all of my problems, even in the, in, in the real world. Um, garlic. Why'd I take that? More soul gems that I will never refill. Satchel. All right, got some stuff. Okay, cool. Um, that was fun and interesting. Let's go. All right, looks like we are in one of the barred door areas. It's also fairly dark in here, so I guess we should open this up. And this comes out, yep, right where I wanted to be, actually. Uh, no, did we check all these places? Is this the way we went? I think that's the way we, yeah, that's the way we had went. That's the way we had come from. Yeah, but there was still a few places we could have checked. For one... There's a few books here, but it looks like nothing of value, unfortunately. Let's pull out this cast iron pot. Aha! Hiding a death bell from me, I see. And there might be something in here. What up? Shoot me if you can! But you're already dead. Where's the other one? Sucks for you. Is there more than two? No, I don't think so. Ouch. Right in the snaws. 
Uh, you have nothing of interest to me. I've also been asked recently again about using the crossbow. I do plan on using the crossbow. I'm just trying to get rid of some of my arrows. And since uh, last time I mentioned it, I had like 900, and now I have under 500. So we are getting there, folks. When I run out of arrows, I will gladly switch over to apparently what is a superior weapon, the crossbow. Gold diamond ring. Snap, I am glad I went into this room. Not that I need money, but, you know, it's money. Uh, get money, get paid. Is there anything down here? What is this? A briar heart? Oh, boy. Nothing. The Yellow Book of Riddles. That's an odd title. Uh, derp, 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 derp. Oh, it's actually real riddles with answers. Oh, you guys can pause the video if you want to look at that. That's kind of neat. Uh, nothing else down here. Neat. Well, I am certainly glad that I came back. It was well worth my time. I don't need an empty wine bottle uh, or a tankard, but I got a gold diamond ring. And I got a few more kills, which is what this is really all about. Uh, I'm going to go back to the college. All right, I'm back. Back in the Arcanium. Uh, now, where is that special someone I love so very much? I got your books. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Hey, here's those missing books. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Sure do. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. I earned... Racial phylogeny. Daughter of the Nibin. And another random book. And Catalog of Weapon Enchantments. And Response to Barrow's Speech. And the Black Hearts on Trial. But that was it. Just those books. No other books. Mm -hmm. um, apparently I should probably read some of these books. Or not read, but at least check out. Um, read. Conjuration. Da -da 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 -da. Catalog of Weapon Enchantments. I'm assuming that that would have increased my enchantment skill, but it's already maxed. Daughter of the Niven. Alteration, baby. As if I needed more points in this stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. What's this do? Restoration. Cool. I'm okay with that. Uh, response to bearer speech. That's destruction, but I had already read this before. Um, the black... Uh, the betray... What is that? I, I don't remember that. Uh, black Arts on Trial. Illusion. Neato. Man, my illusion skill is low. Touching the sky... I don't remember what these are. Okay. Neat. I did it. I have no quest markers. They need, that means I need to look here. Uh, Yurik has asked me to mention the Knight of Tears book to Tolfter. Well, that's what we need to do, dang it. Let's go! Do 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 That's my let's go sound effect. And here we are. Tolfter... That's weird. Tolf, dear. Tolf, my dear. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Your ex uh, suggested I come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Um, well, I found a certain book, Night of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. Sure. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. Yep. Elliot, Gwemma, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious, indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. But can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magic. And yet, it's unlike anything I've felt before. 
Archmage Aran is already hard at work, and hopefully he'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, have I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. What? I, I don't understand what's going on. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Um, aren't you just an advisor here? Technically, that is true. But I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Okay, jerk. Maybe I'll just shoot you in the back of the head for fun. That might cause some problems. Let's go, slow walking Joe. Fandle, you still with me? You still okay? Yeah, we walking rather slow. On Kano, more like on Kano slow. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Let's just let's just go have a little chat with Quarinir. Quarinir? Nah, let's talk. Okay, Ankana walks a little slow, so I'm just gonna go past him. What's up, bro? You from the Sigic Order? It is good to meet you in person. Um, whoa, it's all bright. What the piss? What? What's going on? What? What's? Did people... Are people frozen? They are frozen. What happened, everybody? I'd simply like to talk to you. Oh. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. Um, okay. Well, if this is dangerous, then why don't you do something about it? I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my Order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Okay, well, um, why should I trust you or your Order? I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. I do. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. Okay, so what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Okay, um, I'll help, but I, I don't know what to do. Unfortunately, the future is as obscure to us as it is to you. The overwhelming power of the Eye makes it difficult for us to see. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my Order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Okay, who is this Augur of Dunlane? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is... something different. Okay, so where can I find this Augur? I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. 
I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Hmm. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? Okay, don't respond to him. What's up, Ankano? Well, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. <laughs> what? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Kill him. Kill Ankano. Kill him. I'll help you. Feindel will help. Well, I might not help, but I'll make Feindel do it, and then I'll say he did it. Sabasaram, what's, what's up, my bro? I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sijic Order. Here after all these years, and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Aw, you're a good guy. You're blue, but you're a good guy. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, and I do have an interesting... Uh, suggestion, point, question to raise. Um, in the past, we have talked about possibly extending the length of episodes on Steven Place. Um, in particular, Skyrim episodes. Anytime we've ever brought it up, it's been more or less shot down. There's certainly been people that want longer episodes, but for the most part, people agree that they like the 20-minute format. I am raising the question again. Um, would you guys like to see longer episodes? I'm sure that there's a lot of people that would, and probably a lot of people that wouldn't. I want you to let me know uh, down in the comments below. If it's something that you would like to see longer episodes, then we might move to um, maybe a 30-minute format, uh, because that's something that's still doable for me. I don't know if we would do 40 minutes. That seems... That seems pushing it for me. <laughs> for me. Um, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Um, let, let me know if, if you could do a 30-minute format. And um, yeah, if you could do a 40-minute format I, too, I guess. But that's I think that's kind of much for every three days. But anyway, let me know. Um, it would certainly help us get through more of the game uh, quickly, I guess. Because then we're covering three episodes worth every two episodes, essentially. Um, so, yeah. Just uh, give me your input. And uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But next episode, we will be carrying on with more of the college and hopefully getting to a point where we can shoot Ankano in the face. Because really, that's, uh, that's all I, I want to do.